Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create one in a master wallet and uh, we will going to process one small amount of data. So before moving forward, I just want to tell you what is the meaning of serverless. So serverless is it doesn't mean that there is no server. It means that server is there, but I care less. So we don't have to care about the server that is uh, running behind. It is all with the thing will be managed by AWS. So we there is many benefit of that. So let me open my PPT and uh, you can see the benefit of this. So there is no instance management. So so obviously there is no, no server that we have to manage. So there will be we don't have to worry about the provision, configuration and manage the infrastructure. And uh, that is very automatically scaling. So what is the meaning of this is let's suppose that there is uh, before that before serverless we were going to use the EMR cluster okay in that we need to to create the two node cluster three node cluster so we, so prior to the load or uh, work you have to create the cluster okay and let's suppose that you created the cluster of two node but if sometime you received lots of request or your job is running on more data and that is not capable to by the your two nodes so what you will do in that your job will fail okay so in that case you need to spin up one more node and attach it to that in that case you need downtime for that so there are there are many things in like that and if you are using uh, three cluster you have to pay for that three node you have to pay for three node okay so here automatic scaling means as per the load as per the, the load it will automatically scaling up or scaling down your number of nodes it will adjust the you this means that you don't have to manually adjust the number of nodes or instance it will automatically adjust so this is a very good features by serverless and this is obviously cost effective so if uh, it is uh, running for low load it will be using uh, less less node in backend if it is let's suppose that the same example that i've given before if you are provisioned with five cluster a five node so you even you are not using it you are running it for less uh, load then also it is it will be charged for the same okay so based on the this is very very cost effective you can say you you don't have to pay for the idle capacity i mean it is uh, whenever it is uh, using it is uh, for that much amount of time only you have to pay okay and then flexible flexibility you can run it with any other framework like spark high pesto and uh, you, it, you can integrate it with uh, any other AWS service as they like rds redshift so we are we are going to to learn this this thing how you can use redshift cluster with emr serverless and uh, work on that 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 is the next video will will come so this is this is the one benefit you can enhance the security using iam vpc uh, encryption so using this you can just enhance the security of your serverless it is a very uh, quick startup so there is no strategy that you have to manage we will see that this one if you, uh, i will i will just launch the serverless and you will see like how much time it will take in back backend okay so it won't take much time okay so it will be quickly it will uh, start up and maintenance free yeah because we are not maintaining it maintenance is done by aws so we don't have to worry about the maintenance patching all those things what we need to build let's suppose that some upgrade came so we need to stop the server and do the upgrade we need my man we need downtime for that so all those things kuch bhi nahi karna iske liye or optimize performance yeah, because uh, this is aws to continuously monitor and optimize performance of means whenever you, uh, you uh, that is the optimize that is everything is taking care of aws so aws runs their engine behind your code so their engine is you don't have to write your that much uh, catalyst or means all the optimized uh, process for you because running emr emr is basically using spark and hadoop hive this all things so that will be taken care by aws so you don't have to worry about the performance of anything so this this is the the many other benefit as well so this is the main advantage of uh, using emr that's why that's why people are 
instead of using EMR cluster, people are going to use EMR server list nowadays. So oh, that's the theory part. Now we will just uh, go to our EMR, our AWS console. I will type EMR. Okay, EMR managed Hadoop forever. Here only you will see there will be something called uh, server list. See, there is cluster as well. That is so old, but people are still using this. No worry. See, server list. And uh, if first time you are seeing, you have to uh, create studio, but I already created the studio, so I can see here there might be one studio here. So let me delete it. So it will look look like the same as you are doing the first time. So where it is? Emr server list. So see, nothing is there. So there is no studio now. So I will just create to manage application, it will, it will ask me create and launch EMR Studio. So this is the first time only. Okay, just to launch, it will take some time. It will open different URL. Okay. Meanwhile, I uh, see this is uh, already I have created uh, some application uh, for practice purpose. This is fine. So for for you, you will not get any application running here. So once your studio will be up. You can create the application. Okay, so I will create the application. So let me create application first. Uh, my EMR YouTube video why YT. That's all. Uh, anything that is related to your project, you can create the application. And this is uh, the retail person. I'm just keeping it. Uh, a maximum means you can choose as per your requirement okay and each uh, version of spark having different different so here you can choose spark or hive i want spark and then this architecture and uh, i will just choose default setting so this is very much important the setting depend on your virtual environment vpc and all that all things we, i will tell you later when we will discuss to connect uh, Redshift from here or any other uh, services of AWS in the same VPC, then we will go. We will go for this custom setting. But this is the simple video. So here I will just choose the default setting, and I will create this application. So this application has been created. Now what I will do with this? I will process one of my data. My data set is James Bond data. Okay. So James Bond film year who is the actor, director, box office, budget, and budget, actor cell, bond, bond actor salary. So this there are this many columns are there. Okay, I want to read this file and process. Means you can do whatever you want. Okay, but for to make it simple, I will just process process it and uh, take only this three columns. Okay, so my art my input will be this all full file and out of output will be. Output will have only three columns. Okay, so this is the my um, my task, my job that will be processed by EMR server list. So I I want to show you the code. Okay, this is very simple code. This will import one Spark session, and actually we want to call function. So we'll because I want to just select few column. So we need call function. If you don't need don't import it. I think uh, we don't need it here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so we can remove this line as well. But let it be. So and my data source will be in S3. This is file my my I'll put my file inside this bucket. You have to create one bucket and uh, folder, and there will be no output output uh, uh, folder here. It will automatically create it from here because this you know like this is what uh, bucket and key. Okay, so key will be created, no problem. So this is the function, and uh, we created the Spark session here. This you know, like a Spark session is the entry point of any application. So with this, you can uh, read the file. After reading the file, all data will be there in my all underscore data variable, and from there we are just going to select this three column. Okay, and this selected column I will write inside the file, inside the folder called output. 
so this file will be written here and i will just print total number of record whatever the number record in the console just to to see what is there okay this is my code so i have already created uh, this bucket for you and uh, there's two folder input file and uh, uh, python code so i'll go here i'll upload the python code here so I'll go here and add file my file is uh, emr sample code okay open it and upload it this is simple but how we are doing in our project that also i will show you we are just going to use vs code and just deploy it using uh, uh, our code in s3 using what you call ci cd pipeline and there are many other method also i will show you one by one everything so don't worry this is simple so i want to just keep it very simple input file let it let me upload this input file where is my input file my input file will be in c d data okay data and what is that okay let me check where it is and james won here we are okay see it is here or not i think it is here on the file and here james okay so let me upload it okay so i have completed my task creating bucket uploading input file and uh, code there and i already created one application that is running here if it will not run for 15 minutes it will, it will stop because we have given the configuration saying that uh, while creating it was there okay so it is already started so no problem so i will just submit the job here okay so here just submit the job and you can give, give the job name let it be same and run time you can create the role from here just create it here and you can just uh, go to learn more and uh, follow the step and you can create the role here but i already have the role so i will just select this role and here where is the script so i will just browse it and the browser mm, my bucket is here and code is here okay you know what is the code is and this and all things uh, i will tell you later in the advanced uh, section no problem this is all things are easy okay so everything's good additional setting all those things time out all those things i will keep it uh, as it is okay tag if you want you can give this also optional but uh, it's good practice to to give the tag let's suppose the application name i can give name uh tag name what name can be emr yt video okay so now submit the job so this pending it will take some time okay because now it will spin the cluster in back end and it will submit your job inside your uh, serverless cluster where the server actually server is running So first time will take some time. So let it be. We'll wait for uh, some time, and uh, I will show you. Now change to pending to review. There is uh, only input file, Python file. There is no output file. Now it is running. So the stage is changing from pending to scheduled to running. Let's see whether it is running successfully or not. We'll wait for some time. Yes. So now you can see my job. status is successful so we can go to the log because we have written one print statement as well if you see in my code it is there is a print statement okay so let's see what is there you can go to the output you will open this you can see total number of record is 26 correct and uh, i can verify as well from where because we have the file and you can see total number of record 27 because this is including one error as well total number number of record is 20, 20, 26 only so this is giving correct result i will go and check the file as well so where will be my file my file will be in 
and its location. So just refresh it. See, there is one uh, output folder here. So go to the output folder. You can see one uh, one success file that is marker, and uh, this is my parquet file because we are, by default the Spark uh, it it targeted parquet uh, file. Okay, and you you can see here there is very little uh, file. So you can go here and uh, go to action and query with access access let and you can just uh, create the output format so on json i want tc file and run the query so you can see we are getting only three column here correct because why because we are we are given we are selected only three column film year and actor okay and it, the same things there in my output file as well okay so you can download the output file and uh, do whatever you want even even you can uh, if you don't like parky for parky format but i will suggest you, you can use parky um, format you can even change the parky format you have to write code in parky here okay so this is the very easy uh, example and in this video we have learned how to create emr serverless what is the benefit of EMR serverless over EMR cluster? And uh, I have explained you how you can create the application and submit one job. So thank you very much. Thank you uh, for watching uh, my video. Hope this will be helpful for you. And uh, but this is gen just simple example. So don't worry. I will come with other example where we are going to connect our this EMR. Uh, both uh, EMR serverless and Redshift serverless together and we can process some data that is there in my Redshift serverless using Spark that is EMR uh, serverless okay so stay tuned hope you like it if you like it like it and uh, you can subscribe to my channel thank you very much